could you uh, introduce some information like uh, how could you find the uh, agency or the process for your application in China? At actually, you know, I we do have uh, you know a school representative uh, in China, and then mm. they just send us the application form, and then we I fully complete it and send it back to the agency. Uh, but you, I have to. You have to make sure you have to send your copies of the certificates of your peer with study, mm -hmm. uh, the IELTS uh, results, and the academic uh, reference and the CVs along with your application form. Okay. So, what about you? How did you find the you know the application form and you know uh, how how do you do with it? Um. I've studied in China, uh, in Shanghai University for mm -hmm. two years and the third year, uh, we we school have a cooperation with the University of Bolton, so we just uh, continue for study here. So how did you come to you know uh, UK for study? Uh, you know the first your first time. Um, I fly from Shanghai in Pudong Airport at mm -hmm. two o'clock in the morning. Mm. Oh, that's early. Yeah, it's very, very, very early, and I have a less sleep that day. Mm -hmm. But it is still very excited because this is our first trip to yeah. study abroad. Okay. And uh, to have a international flight as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it took us uh, seventeen hours oh, to arrive in Manchester. Trip. Yes, yeah. it's very, very long, mm -hmm. and. Um, in Manchester, we took a bus to uh, Bolton mm -hmm. and arrived in our accommodation at night. Okay. And we, uh, each each of us has the single room for mm -hmm. ourselves and six one share a kitchen and a oh. bathroom as okay. well. As an international uh, student, yeah, I'm strongly you know rec recommend uh, international society because. Because uh, it's a very good community, it brings all the students together from you know all nations, and we share each other's culture, and we travel around the UK. All right, mm -hmm. okay. And as I know, there is a Chinese town, as a Chinatown yeah, in I love Manchester. China yeah, Chinatown. Yeah, very very good. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do some Chinese food or to have some Chinese food mm -hmm. or go shopping or enjoy yourself mm -hmm. in Ch Chinese way, you can go to Manchester Chinese Town. You can mm -hmm. enjoy yourself there. Mm -hmm. It's very very good. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So, uh, what kind of facilities do you like in Bolton, and which kind of that will helps you to, uh, to your study? Actually, you know. Uh, I like the free Wi-Fi of Bolton University because I can take my small laptop around, you All know, the right, university. Right. You know, I can use it to, you know, through the, you know, the dur during the class because, you know, we are not the, you know, local students. Yes. So we do have some, you know, don't understand of the, you know, the words of English. So if I yeah. got the free Wi-Fi, I can check about the words and the minutes of English everywhere yeah. around the class and the unit. Do you like to support something, you know, you know the uh, gym? Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a um, sports center as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and we always go there to play basketball. Oh, yeah. I, I and like to exercise Bloomington yourself. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, you can, you can have many, many chances to make friends with some uh, mm -hmm. the other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a very, very good way to communicate with the others. Oh, yeah. yes, that's true. Do you have any part-time job and what information you should uh, have for apply for the job? Actually, I did have some experience for part-time job. I worked for Manchester United before and then actually, you know, for part-time job, the CV is really very really important. So I suggest you register the job center. The okay. stuff there are very, you know, helpful. They will teach you how to write CVs and send a lot of job information to your email. Okay. So, uh, and you also can ask some, you know, like senior students for help. I'm sure they would love to share their, you know, experience. Um, and what are you going to plan after you graduate? Actually, I'm... I think I will stay here, you know, for like uh, one year more to have some work experience, like internship. Okay. And then and then go back to China because if I have some work experience, like internship in UK, it's much easier for me to find a job when I back to China. And then I do have confidence to find, uh, you know, like internships at UK. 
，我觉得我来波顿学习是一个就是很正确的选择，因为怎么说呢？呃，我在这里认识了很多朋友，我的知识层面也上了一层，还有就是呃。呃，就是说眼界更加开阔了，所以我觉得来波顿学习是一个很好很好的机会，还是而且给了我一个很好的认识自己跟认识世界的机会，所以我觉得在波顿学习真的是一个很好的选择，你觉得呢？呃，我觉得来波顿学习的话、嗯，呃，第一给我的感觉就是我可以到一个不同的环境里面，嗯,嗯，来锻炼自己在各个方面的能力，嗯，呃，而且在这边的话。嗯，毕竟不能用中文交流嘛，一定要用英语交流。嗯、用英语交流的话，你就可以、嗯，呃，锻炼你自己的英语能力、嗯。呃，这个是在国内很少可以练到的。是的，是的。而且，嗯、呃，你在这边可以交到很多很多国外的朋友，嗯、学习一些国外的知识。嗯、而且，你可以通过呃和他们的交流，发掘他们学呃学习或者工作的一些其他的经验。嗯、这个对你将来是很有帮助的，我觉得。嗯、所以，我觉得来这里学习也是很正确的。所以我们推荐 Bolton。对，我们也推荐波特。所以我们希望能很快的见到你，大家一起来波特一起学习。嗯，好，嗯、我们都很希望在波特见到大家。嗯，好。